Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back to another Bible lesson. Uh, hopefully you remember me. I'm Ms. Panya, and today I, I have Rihanna with me once again. So it's good to be back. Hope you guys are enjoying the last part of your summer. Do you guys remember last week's lesson? I hope so. Hopefully you tuned in last week. Last week you guys learned about Jacob and Esau. They were the twins, um, but they weren't best friends, were they? They got into a huge fight and Jacob ended up fleeing for his life. Do you guys remember that story? Well, we're gonna pick up the story today. We're gonna learn more about Jacob and his family. And uh, so today we're gonna be talking about his son, Joseph. Have you guys heard this story before? I'm sure you have, but if you haven't, listen in. So Jacob was a very old man, okay? He had already had 10 sons with his wife, Rachel. And then he had two more. His son's names were Benjamin and Joseph, okay? So Benjamin and Joseph were his last two sons. So of his 12 sons, Joseph easily became Jacob's favorite, okay? Because he was one of the youngest. So Joseph grew up to be a good young man. He always acted in godly and obedient ways to his father. So it was very easy to love him, right? Because of this, his father gave him a very expensive and colorful robe probably look almost something like this very colorful okay and now joseph brothers at least most of them they didn't like him at all could you imagine if you had a sibling and your dad gave a very expensive robe to your sibling and not to you okay so whatever joseph did you know, or whatever he said, nothing pleased his brothers. He tried really hard to get along with them, but they just didn't like him. So when they were doing something wrong and Joseph would find out about it, Joseph would go and tell his father. He thought he was doing the right thing. He only wanted to help his brothers, but that made his brothers very upset. I don't think they thought Joseph was helping them at all. Could you imagine your brother or maybe your sister, if you have a sister, like snitching on you? <laughs> Do you know what that's like, Rihanna? You have a brother. What is yes. that like? Does Nicholas snitch on you sometimes? Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. I get in a lot of trouble because of him. Yeah. So Rihanna's the older sibling and she has a brother named Nicholas. You guys might know him, okay? So instead of doing what was right, they went right on their business. No matter how annoyed they were with Joseph, the more they got in trouble, the more they disliked him. Okay, they really, really disliked Joseph. So it was really hard for Joseph, but despite his brother's obvious dislike for him, he still talked to them. He tried to be nice and kind to them especially about his dreams. You guys ever have dreams? I know some dreams are good, but some dreams are bad, right? One day he went up to them and he said to them, listen to this dream that I just had, Joseph said. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field, just like that, okay? And then suddenly, my sheaf rose and stood upright, okay? While your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed to it. Could you imagine that? Okay, that's found in Genesis chapter 37, verse six and seven. His brothers questioned Joseph, replying, what? Are you saying that we are going to bow down to you? that you're greater than us? Like, that's just impossible, right? Because he's the younger brother. They really got angry and they started growling at him. You know, they were quite angry. Poor Joseph though, 
okay? He scratched his head like, I don't get it. Because he was so young, he didn't understand why they were so mad at him. He was just sharing about his dream, right? But guess what happens? He had another dream. Only this time, he not only told his brothers, he went and told his father, Jacob. Listen, he said, I had another dream. And this time, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars were bowing down to me. Now his brothers were red with anger. Have you ever gotten mad where you were just like raging with anger? Well, his father, Jacob, became concerned. And he said to Joseph, Oh, Joseph, are you actually saying we are going to bow down the ground before you? I mean, his dad was actually quite puzzled. Now, his, so this dream bothered his brother so much that they plotted to kill him. Can you believe it? That's how angry they became, that they wanted to hurt Joseph. The opportunity came one day when Joseph's father sent him out to look for his brothers to a place called Dathan. Can you guys say that? Dathan. Good. Let's remove this beautiful robe and kill him, they said. They were very angry. We will tell father that a ferocious animal ate him. Let's see what this dreamer can do. So they were making fun of him now. The brothers plotted to carry out this plan. However, when he heard about the plan, the oldest brother, Reuben, he found a way to maybe save Joseph. He was a nicer brother. He said to the other brothers, let's just throw him in this cistern, which is like a well, okay? Secretly, Reuben was hoping he could rescue Joseph later. Another brother named Judah did not really want Joseph to be hurt too. And he said, why don't we just make money and sell him? It will not do us any good to leave him in the desert to die. The other brothers were like, yeah, you're right. We might as well make money off him and pay back all the misery he caused us, said another brother. So they decided not to kill Joseph. This was all part of God's plan, right? Instead, they stuffed him in a deep well called a cistern. Joseph was stuck. He couldn't get out of this deep, deep well. He couldn't get out. Then a few hours later, a group of Ishmaelites came by and his brothers all agreed to sell Joseph to them like a slave. Mm, poor Joseph. But tune in next week to find out what happens to Joseph and how God takes care of him. Okay, so let's check to see if you guys were listening because I know you guys are good listeners. So Rihanna is going to help me with some of these questions yes. because she's also mm -hmm. a big sister. Um, Rihanna, could you relate to this story at all? Yes, because I have one brother, but it seems like there's 11 of them. Oh, really? When there's only one. <laughs> yes, and he gets me in trouble and I get him in trouble, but we still love each other very much and I care about him, and I hope he cares about me too. He does, he does. <clears throat> he won't admit it, but he does. <laughs> I think that's part of being siblings, right? You fight, but you love each other at the end. So let's see if you guys were listening. Do you remember how many brothers did Joseph have? Rihanna, can you help us out? Yes. How many? I think it was 11. 11, good job. Good job. That's the right answer. <laughs> Okay, question two. What was his father's name? What was Joseph's father's name? We talked about him at the beginning of the story, and he had a twin brother named Esau. Ooh, 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 yes, I got it. Um, I think since it was Esau, then it must be Jacob. Yes, <gasps> Jacob 
was the father of Joseph and the 11 brothers. Good job. So his brothers were very envious of Joseph, which means jealous, right? We all get jealous sometimes. Mm -hmm. Why do you think they were so jealous of Joseph? I think it was because of this. This, this coat, this colorful coat? Yeah, I mm. think it's because he got it and no one else did. Mm. That happens, right? So, so they were very jealous because of the expensive Colorful, coat. colorful robe. Yes, that is correct. Well, what did Joseph see that made his brothers very mad? Hmm. What do you think? Well, what about you, boys and girls? You tell me, what did Joseph see that made his brothers very mad? He told them something, that he was mm. sleeping. Uh-huh. Um, when I sleep, I have dreams. Yes. So dreams? Yes, exactly. Joseph had two dreams, right? Mm -hmm. And his brothers didn't like it because his dreams were about them bowing down to him, the younger brother. Nobody likes that. Mm -mm. So what did his brothers want to do with Joseph? Hmm. At the end, because they were so angry, what did they want to do? What do we usually, our natural tendency, mm. when we're mad, when we don't get what we want, what's the first thing we do? Do we pray? Mm. We should, right? Yeah. We should be praying, but usually we don't. We usually sometimes hit the other person or we say something really mm -hmm. mean. What happened in this story? What did the brothers do to Joseph though? I think there were two. They initially wanted to kill him, sad. But then the two brothers decided to put him in a well and sell him for money, right? Mm -hmm. For all the troubles he caused? Yes. Okay, I think they all wanted to kill him, but there were two brothers that mm -hmm. kind of wanted to spare his life. One said to put in the well, and then the other one suggested that we could sell him as a slave, right? So that's what ended up happening. Okay, the last question, I want to make sure you guys are listening. How well do you get along with your brother or sister if you have one? Okay, do you ever get jealous? Yeah. I'm sure you do. And what do you do to make up? Do you apologize even when the other person hurt you? Do mm -hmm. you come to them and do you say, I'm sorry for what I did? You know, that's really hard to do, but it's really important for us to um, realize what we've done because we're not perfect like Jesus is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's really important for us to go to our brother or to our sister and say, I'm sorry for what I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sure you boys and girls do that. And if you don't, I hope you learn today's lesson, mm -hmm. okay, about jealousy and how we really need to ask God for us to be kind and um, loving to our brothers and our sisters and to our parents too. Mm -hmm. So let's close in prayer. Thank you so much for listening to this lesson. And I hope you enjoyed it and you'll tune in next week with us, okay? Brianna, can you close us in prayer? Yes. Bow your head and close your eyes. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today and this lesson. I pray for these boys and girls who are at home and staying safe, that they would learn something from this and that they would be loving to their brothers or sisters or even their parents, Lord. And I just pray for them and that they would enjoy the rest of their summer. In Jesus', in Jesus name I pray, amen. Amen. Bye boys and girls, see you next time.